So what I have noticed, I think in that stack in the distance is from a coal mine. Right the way there, what I'm pointing to, very old. Can you actually get to that? We're going to find out. There might actually be some old brick remains around it. No, because it says air shaft, so is that an actually an old air shaft one? Let's go and find out. Well, I know there was a uh, clay works, brick works over somewhere over here. Right, keep going down. But wow, check out that now. We've got a bit more of a better view right, right the way over there. So you can just see, whether you can just make it out what I'm pointing to, you can just see all that tree line right away behind in the gap at the back. Where then trees are lurking, that is actually where the old railway used to serve. I think it used to come round in a loop. So it would have looped round and come this way towards Penn's Net and into the back end where the defence pools is right away over there. But notice there's a farm over there. And we'll make you wonder how old that farm is because there's a lot of old houses what I can just see in the distance over the back. So if we can try and make it to that stack, that'll be really quite cool. So right, I've done a bit of research into photos of this place, I've only found one so far. So just over the back where the cross was, there's a photo here for you now, so you can just see it. You can just see it wasn't the original cross, the one that I've showed you earlier. There was one years and years ago, much more thinner and smaller, which that is really quite interesting to see. Tried to do a bit more research into the collieries that was over here, but didn't find too much in the way of that either. So with a bit of luck, I think this is actually going straight, which is really good. So what you can just see here is actually a pool, what seems a little bit drained, right around the corner, right the way there. This is also part of old colliery workings on the corner. You can just see how dark and rich the ground is onto the corners, giving evidence of old industry being here. I mean, just further down, you can just see the area there. It's got a bit of a smell to that, right the way there. Moving further down. I mean, you can just see this place is absolutely really muddy. But you see the pile on right the right there, just above me. I mean, you just really need the crack footwear on for this. Let's carry on. I'm trying to get to that stack. Right, here we are. Really overgrown. There's a path leading right the way up to it. I'm guessing that's definitely got to be something to do with colliery. You can tell by the, the stack right around the corner. All again, brickwork. Right the way up. Oh wow, what is this? Check out this. That is cool. So, many years ago, I'm just thinking, is this a shaft? I think that is a shaft. So when you're at the Black Country Museum, I don't really, I'm trying to make out what it could be. So is it filled in? Did that go right the way underground? Like a wheel thingy and it used to lift people down. I think that's probably what this is. I could be wrong. But you can just tell by the width of it. I know in the Black Country Museum you've got something similar to this with the wheel and it used to take a tub down. So it's making me really wonder. Drop it in the comments of what you think this possibly could be. Do you think this is part of coal mine? Because it's definitely telling me it was definitely part of something. But that is really cool to see that. So let's go make our way up to the stack. There might be some other things over here. Really don't know. I mean, there is like a bit of a fence like this, so there could be some stuff over the back over that way. 
that is actually a stack here. Check out this. I think you can get inside it. Oh wow, what is this? This is absolutely so cool. Is this guy is definitely part of Colliery, then definitely let me know. You can just see all this here. I mean, what's on this corner? Let me check out all that down there. Wow. Definitely a bit of black country history left here. This is really quite cool. Right, let's make our way down. Well, let's check how old this brick wall really is. If we can squeeze through. Bit of a tight squeeze. Look at that uh, archway there. That is really so high up. Oh wow. Check out this. Might be able to get a better view from around that corner. But you can just see there is a here. It looks like it goes narrow, then goes round like this. These are the brick wall. Is this a brickworks? <laughs> right. Wow. You can't get through there. Really. It is too narrow. You can just see on the corner here. There is actually a uh, old writing. Well, check out that. If I can carefully lift that right the way up you might be able to see it better than what i can now wow it's so cool check out that and right the way there on that corner that is absolutely amazing so there we go a bit of history on barrow hill so if you've never seen this over here then there you go that's that going right the way up i might have to do a bit of research onto this like I said there's definitely collieries over here what I might actually do because it's, it's really bugging me now is get the side to side maps up let's see what was actually here many years ago so you're not going to guess this this is actually Himley Colliery wow so what I was just checking out down the bottom is actually the shaft oh that is amazing Himley Colliery I'm going to do some more research on this as if to see that it's actually old colliery remains so I think it was a brickworks, it's actually a coal mine right the way there, so that stack going right the way up many years ago, did that actually go right the way on the ground it possibly could have done let's just see if there's any more remains of this Himley colliery I mean you just tell by all this stuff here which is really quite interesting if we get over and check out all this brick wall going all the way around so it's making me wonder, was this also another wheel on top of here, on both sides? And I could just see there is a brick on there with a, something on it. Hamlet. Wow, what is that? Where's that even made from? You see that was actually lying right around on top of there. These are really, really old bricks, these are. Check out that. So right. There is a slot in the wall here. Right the way there, slot. So what would have slotted across here? Ah, it's make, it is making me wonder now. Was there a big massive uh, winding shaft wheel here? Check out this. There's old uh, steel supports. So steel supports there. So that could have been a big massive uh, winding wheel. So They've actually filled the ground so somewhere on here would have gone right away down under the ground so this is a shaft and that is also another shaft right away down on the bottom it's even more stuff wow if i look through the gap you can just see wow that is so cool check out this guys get my light on if I you can just see, I'm seeing what that even says. Right about there, there's a printed stamp right around top. Wow. Uh, something there. A lot of bricks in the gaps. See if we can find any more stamped things on here. 
So you can just see some really old, old ones. There's something there, there, SB. But once more, there is old, um, old stuff here. You can just see something poking right the way out. But there we go. I'm guessing that's probably a uh, part of the winding shaft. Definitely is. But you can just see the view of that now on the on the corner, checking right the way up. So it's make a wonder. Is there any more old things over here? Let's have a look for this gap. No, it's just completely overgrown. So right guys, interesting photo. This might not be the exact colliery, but what you can just see right here is one of the Earl of Dudley's collieries, Himley. So pit head at one of Earl of Dudley's collieries. It says there, 1910. You can just see right there in the middle, like a tub on a, on a winch, which is believed similar to what you would have seen. Right the way in front there, a winding house. So you just see, there's a bit of steel thing sticking right the way out. So if you check out the photo, right the way there, right, taking it back off, this is what you're seeing right the way here. Going all the way down and on all the corners there. So that would have gone right the way up, you would have had the tub right the way in the middle, then that would have gone right around the ground. I thought it would have been something similar with that one over there as well, so we'll go and check out that one more time. But picture one for you one more time again, you can just see that tub. So what's interesting is a bit of information about Himley Colliery. The Earl of Dudley's extensive Himley Colliery pits were spread out over many acres. Like this one, Baggeridge. There's quite a lot. The main activity is sent in the South Himley Woods near the Glen Arms and along the south side of the Himley Road, as far as up Cooper's Hill Bank, with one small pit locate in Hoplard Lane and Gornal Wood. So coming all the way down, it says here, um, Hop Yard Lane, Gornal Wood, pit number 23. So you see there's quite a lot of uh, interesting information there about him and the colliery sort of spread out over several acres. But what's interesting, checking out those old maps, you can just see right the way now is on the maps, him and the colliery once more, and also a mineral railway. The mineral railway actually used to run, very one moment, just further over that way just behind me over there it used to be a big massive railway behind wow that is so cool that the, the mineral railway stretches really quite far and then you would have had some brickworks further further at the back over that way wow there we go there's himley colliery so one more pan around i'm going to take some nice photos and we'll have one more look at this one more time before we leave because this is really so fascinating I, I thought Barrow Hill was just going to be a nature reserve not coming over to some overgrown bushes then leading right the way into this which is visible so many people see the stack over in the of uh, the side I mean you can't really get to this I have to walk through some bushes to get to it and then you notice this and then you see all this overgrown land which was once Himley Colliery wow just want to show you this one more time. I'm just absolutely really fascinated with this. It's just really so interesting. I mean, just imagine you had to squeeze under there to get through. It's a really tight gap. If I get down, so I haven't seen this yet. Oh, let's be careful. But right there under there, that leads into there, as you can just see. There we now, if I can duck down. Just imagine the days you had to like literally duck down just to get through this like little tunnel going all the way through look how cool that is so i would love to see what's inside that stack i think what i'm gonna do take my jacket off bag and i will go and squeeze through and journey in all right let's go in oh it's full of cobwebs down here now i'm gonna have to somehow squeeze through that gap to get in oh my god oh wow wow that is so cool. So many years ago, was this actually a little furnace? What did it used to go right around the ground? Because it is colliery. But this is actually a colliery stack. So you imagine the uh, the bungalow. The bungalow would be similar if you can actually get through the bungalow and check what's inside it. It would look like this, but you can see all the, how charred it is right away at the top. 
He's so old. I, I would love to get on the top of there and climb it, but it is so dangerous, guys. But yeah, wow, finally got to do it. Imley Colliery. Never thought this really existed. I thought it got demolished. Take a nice photo of this. Right the way there. No, right, what a visit, guys. Let's get out of here. Right, back through the gap. Oh, what a tight squeeze. Check out this. This is what they had to do back in the days. I can't even move. <laughs> I'm literally stuck in the corner. But what's so interesting? Check out that. There's even writing. Very old writing there on the brick. You really do find some old stuff. There's even old initials. Check out that. Old initials there. Could this be from some of the old children that even worked here? There's even stuff there and there as well. Right. I'm, I'm stuck. I can't move. <laughs> I literally wedged. I can't get out. Oh, get out. Oh, squeeze for it. How on earth did they do that back in the days? I think I'll have enough in one day. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus. What a tight squeeze that was. I think you'll need to be thin back in the days. A bit of weight and you'll be struggling through there. <sighs> Jeez. Right. Whew. Right, let's get out. What a tour that was. But you can just see, that's why I pull this off me. You can just see right the way here. All that coming through, like old arches. One more time, the stack, what I've just showed you right the way inside, just up to there. Absolutely cool. Let's get out this way. So there we go. This was where the winding wheel would have gone many, many years ago. Check out that. They would have sent people down. They might have even sent kids down in tubs. Because they used to do that in quite a lot of mines. Like the, uh, when you go to the Black Country Museum, you see the tub thing, what you used to put people in to send down. These are all jobs. We don't allow girls down the pit. But we'll have you on the pit bunk. We need some pit bunk winches. That satisfy you? There's some women out there who'll show you what to do. Right? Well, don't sit there and go out to the women on the pit bunk. Go on. You'll have to move faster than that if you want to keep the job here. I'm going to put you in a leather strap round your waist with a piece of chain going through your legs. That'll be attached to a tub, and the tub will be full of coal. And you'll pull that from the coal face to the bottom of the shaft. It'll be a 12-hour day. So I want you down there prompt in the morning at 6 o'clock, ready to start. And I'll have no messing about, because if I catch you asleep or playing about, your backsides will be blacker than coal. So there we go. So originally this gate would have been all linked in together so people can come up to see it. But what a sight that I've seen him Colliery, just hidden right away in the depths, not even knowing this was even here until you really go to the stack to check it out. But there we go. Right, you just see the old chain right the way here. Check out that old chain. That is really so cool. So you can just see it does cross off onto two sections onto the corner now. So you see it goes from that angle there. I will just show you behind me in a minute, so I'm just seeing where this even goes to. I think it goes to an housing estate. But I'm just wondering what all this is on the corner. Let me just see what this is. Really have no idea. 
Marshall. It's this Marshall's uh, mono. If you know what these are, then definitely drop it in the comments. Some really big, massive slabs of concrete for something just been stored here. Absolutely so much of them. They're even stretching all the way down the back, all the way down to here. So if you know what those are, then definitely let me know. So right, this is actually the first pool. It is really coloured for some reason. It's got that, that chocolate that coloured just onto there. It could be because of the ground underneath, how it's like a bit sandy. You can just see quite a lot of uh, rubbish has ended up into there. Not much wildlife onto here. We imagine the, the pool did extend further over there, but it has drained sort of a little bit. On some maps it did look a, a little bit more bigger than this. You see that grass has started taking back on that corner. But well, well I mean, uh, what I think of this place so far, it, it's sort of impressive, but not overly impressive for the, the style of the place, like the pools, the ground. I think there is a lot of maintenance work, what does need to be done about the the sides, like what's overgrown, the bramble. You know, I dragged my leg across some bramble coming down from the steep hill where the cross is. Um, there's a lot of work to be done over here, to be fair. It is a nice place to come and see the history of like, what I've seen, but it's a shame. I thought this was going to be like a proper pool, but that's it. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely, if you want to see much wildlife on pools, definitely go and check out the fens. That's a great place to go if you want to see some uh, water birds. But yeah, didn't expect that to be like that. Let's just carry straight on. So I think where we're going to go now is right. So see where this even takes us. It might take us back to where we come from. There is a path there just going around the, the back end of that pool. But you just tell evidence that all this was industry. I think it's sort of similar to Baggeridge, silt off with all that the hills. There's little bits of brick stuff onto that corner. You can just see right the way there onto the edges going down on the slope and then it gets higher back up just onto these corners I don't think it's as big of a land as what I thought it would be I mean Barra Hill but I definitely think Bagger Ridge is much more bigger it's definitely an industrial trial to go and check out if you've never been there lots of history, wildlife, the scenery is really beautiful but I mean you can just see with all this pan round you can see quite a lot of it is really overgrown. Checking out the edges, all the way there. A lot of bramble. Same for these sides once more. Whew. Whew, just further up, it just gets steeper and steeper. Oh, what a walk. I mean, there is a bit of a flat path there going right away to the backs. Just over to this way. So, it's so making wonder will this go back to St. Mark's? And you see what I want about how muddy it really is. Well, let's get on the edges. Let's just see where this even goes to. But what's a shame, like I mentioned, you can just see there is even a uh, sofa has been chucked down the hill shopping trolleys there is quite a lot of rubbish over here i've noticed quite a lot today but if we just journey through here i've just found something interesting i think this could be another color oh wow what is this yeah this is definitely colory more coal mine evidence so you can just see, this would have been another winding wheel, dropping people right the way down. So this could be like where the tunnels extended from Himley. So it might have all linked into one massive mine altogether. You see right the way there, I did see something. There's like a little path going around the corner, a big massive like uh, slope there. But you just see, there would have been a big massive drop somewhere here. So that would have gone right the way underground. That is so cool, that is. And then there, uh, more evidence of colliery. Ha <laughs> ha. How about this, guys? Guess where we are? You're not going to believe this. We're on the South Staffordshire Railway Walk. How have we ended up here? 
This is crazy. But if we go up, this is actually where the railway run many, many years ago. You see there is a stream down there. You imagine this railway served collieries, it served baggerage. So this was the mineral line for those collieries many years ago. So it could have served the collieries, what was over there, once more. So it might have all linked into this. But I didn't think that the uh, Barrow Hill would have gone to the side of this actually walk. So this is actually one that I wanted to cover quite a while ago. But wow, you see right away in front is a, a little bridge. Let's go and check it out and see what's up there. So here it is, here's the, uh, the tunnel what goes under the road. So interesting, I mean I've just had a branch come off the tree and smack right at the back of my legs down there, it's really painful. So you've really got to be careful, I mean there is obstruction, so if you do come down a bike, be very careful. So this is really quite an interesting one though. So here it is, this is the railway tunnel, amazing. Right the way here. So you can just see how old it is. They've put this, uh, the design of it inside. They've covered it with this right away underneath. So you can just imagine years ago when the trains used to come across with the, the track going all the way down towards the collieries. So it does go around by the, the baggerage section and all the way down to Himley, then up to the other branches down there, Himley Station. It is a really great place to go and visit. I'm going to do a full video on this, so I ain't going to cover too much history now on it because I'm going to do a video on it. But it's nice to come down. I really didn't think that this walk would lead down onto the South Staffordshire Rail Walk. But wow, it's ended a nice way to end the video. But there we go, that's actually one of the, uh, the train tunnels coming all the way through. But yeah, so definitely stay tuned. You will see a video on this. I'm going to cover one. But yeah, very interesting. So yeah, that's it for the video today. But what do I think of the place though? I think it does need a bit of improvement. I mean, it's not the best of places what I've seen in the black country. I mean, the Wren's Nest has got to be my first. Um, but it was really cool to see the old Himley colliery remains and all around there. But I think it's one place that I think I, I don't know if it's it once for the surroundings. But yeah, I might go back and just show someone else that mine, but that's about it really. So until the next one, we go and discover more things around the black country. See you soon, but this is definitely a future video. So there we go, the South Staffordshire Railway. Really cool. The Midlands Outdoors out.